Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. I will channel the energy of your current situation and what you need to know. And I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. Your current situation and everything you need to know. I will channel the energy and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn here to the asteroid Vesta. And this is about you having like this inner spark or like sacrificing something or being even devoted to something or someone. And so what I'm picking up here is that you've put in a lot of energy, a lot of time with this current situation. I feel like it could be a relationship as well as something to do with your career. I feel like you have two things going on right now where you have invested a lot of time and energy and you feel like you need a change. You feel like you need a refresher and you just really want something different. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what's happening here with your current situation? And you have here the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups, this is about the water. It's about emotions. A Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer are significant here with the Nine of Cups energy. And specifically here with the Nine of Cups, this is a clear message that Spirit is wanting you to know that your wishes are coming true. So just be patient and know that, you know, Rome was not built in a day. But bricks were laid every day. So that message is for you to know that you're going in the right direction and just be patient because what you want is happening. It will take place for you. The Nine of Cups is a very high vibrational frequency energy card and things are working out in your favor. Also, it does represent material abundance and good health. So continue to take care of yourself. Eat your high vibrational plant-based food. Work on your healthy habits of a daily walking or exercise routine and just stay focused because your wishes are coming true. Thank you, Spirit. So let's get more of what's happening here, your current situation. You have here the second house. Let me point out that the second house, it's about money. It's about assets. So it's very nice to see the second house show up for you along with the nine of cups. The number two is significant either in your birthday, birth month, or birth year, or that number is significant in someone's uh, chart that is significant here with the second house. Uh, this is about the material world. So it's nice to see this with the nine of cups. Great correlation. It represents your finances, your possessions, and your talents. Spirit is encouraging you to fully express yourself. Express the natural born gifts and talents that you were given. You may be overlooking them because you feel that they're insignificant because you do it so naturally. You do it so easy. And that is exactly what you should put your efforts into. It's about a luxurious lifestyle as well as your credit score. Don't worry about your credit score. Just work on getting it better, but let go of the worry, doubt, and fear. You can only do so much. So just work on getting it better if that's something that's important to you, but do not stress about it. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what is it that you need to hear as it does relate to your current situation? You have the Two of Wands. With the Two of Wands energy, this is creativity and travel. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries are significant here. The Two of Wands energy um, definitely represents working with someone else. I feel like you are waiting for a result 
for something and you want to make a choice and also you may have travel plans. Spirit is encouraging you to make those travel plans and take that trip. You are an adventurous, you are an explorer. Sagittarius is very strong here. I see that you are a go-getter. You don't like sitting in one space and you just want things to happen. So it's totally up to you. You can go where you want to go, do what you want to do and have what you want to have. You just have to believe that and move towards it. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what is it that you need to know as it does relate to your current situation? You have here the crystal card, Selenite. Clear the clutter. <laughs> this is a nice confirmation. So you could have some things around you that you need to get rid of, take to a thrift give away to like charity or just like clear out your, your room or clear out your garage because as you clear things out and clear the clutter, then you allow new things to come into your life. And so this is a clear message. And also here I'm picking up that you have a lot of thoughts that you've been going back and forth in your mind with as it relates to um, your life and just your day-to-day doings, um, and those thoughts are cluttering your mind. So you're encouraged here to give all of that to the source, to let go, to surrender your burdens, to surrender your questions, to surrender your worry about the future. Just completely let it go and give that to spirit. Surrender is what I'm picking up really clear here. And when you feel like that you have surrendered enough, then surrender more. And that will make you feel a lot better. And let's get more insight. What is it that you need to hear as it does relate to your current situation? You have here energy. And with the energy card, this is stop trying to please everyone. Everyone is a whole lot of people. Protect your energy. So yes, you can't please everyone. You can't go everywhere. People are inviting you to different places to do different things and, you know, or want to talk to you a lot on the phone and you feel guilty sometimes because you feel like you should go or you should talk to these people or you should engage. But no, you really only need to do things when you feel up to it. So protect your energy, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Everything is energy. You wake up with a certain amount of energy every day to spend for the full day. And if you don't spend that energy on yourself, on your creations, on your dreams, on your goals, then you will spend that energy on other people. And it's just not possible to do two things at once. So what you can do is if you do want to go certain places, you can have a certain schedule where you say, okay, once a month or once every two months, I'm going to meet with someone and that's it. I'm not going to do any more than that. And if you don't, choose not to do that. But first things first, and that first thing is you protecting your mind and having persistent boundaries when it comes to engaging with others. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what do you need to hear regarding your current situation? What's happening? You have here the Magician card. This is a clear message coming through and also another one of confirmation about you having a focused creativity. Um, you are able to turn your visions into reality as long as you do take inspired action. As long as you are not doing anything that feels forced, doing things out of frustration or desperation, then your visions will turn into reality. So the clear message coming through here is for you to relax, for you to chill, for you to know that your wishes are coming true with the Nine of Cups card here that is in your reading and the Magician card. Things are working out for you. The universe is conspiring for your good. Key word is relax. 
And so beautiful number one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading, your current situation and what you need to know. And I will share with you all the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. And let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn here to the super moon. And this is about luminosity, intimacy, and hyper awareness. So with the super moon coming through, this is about your emotions. The moon does rule over the zodiac sign of cancer, and it does represent the mother. Nurturing energy, empathetic energy, being there, taking care of the home, taking care of yourself. There is a clear message here from spirit to put your emotional well-being first and foremost as number one. And here with intimacy, I can definitely see that you have been wanting someone to like be intimate with, you know, in that way, in like that romantic sense. You don't feel like you have actually had that in your life, that real connection. And this could be with like a, a romantic partner, but even like with your friendships, they were not really, you know, intimate where you can talk about things of a deep nature. So spirit is definitely saying here that because this is your energy frequency, that is what you are attracting to you. Nurturing, you know, well-being, um, healing and support from someone else. So don't be so hyper aware about what's going on. Actually, it's the opposite. You're supposed to feel and visualize that you are good, that you are intimate. Treat yourself with warmth and kindness. Nurture your spirit. You know, whatever you have to do to show yourself that compassion is the direction that you should be in. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. And what is happening here with this energy? What you need to know, ooh, you have the devil card showing up. And with the devil card, I definitely can see that um, that is like obsession. You know, sometimes you can get overwhelmed and obsessed with your dreams, your goals, your career, things that you want to take place. And spirit wants you to let that energy go. I do feel like there's someone that maybe you did cut off so or someone you're not communicating with because you feel like you're not compatible with this person. You know, you just didn't feel compatible. This is an energy here coming through that, yes, um, this person is envious of you just for you being you. You can't control that. You are you. You're encouraged to continue to thrive and continue to be yourself. And yes, you did the right thing by separating yourself from this person because this person does have an obsessive nature. Even though they look like they don't or they feel like they're, they don't, they actually move kind of quite gentle and speak in like such a, you know, way that you would never expect that this person is, has a, like an addictive behavior or has like an obsessive nature and spirit is protecting you here and wanting you to know that yes, your intuition is right. It is heightened. You do, you did get that right. Something is going on, and at this moment, this person is not compatible with you. The supermoon also here represents your intuition as well. So trust your intuition. Trust the actions of this person. Although this person may have not shown you certain things, but trust what you feel when you do relate and communicate with them. You have here Aquarius. The Aquarius is significant. 
and the birth chart of yours or the birth chart of someone that is significant coming through here in this reading. I can definitely see that um, you're encouraged here to get out more, to go out into public, you know, be in like a group oriented setting. I see that you are humanitarian, so you are aligned there with Source by, you know, helping out maybe with charity and things like that. You're very free minded, free spirited, and um, you, and you're encouraged to be detached here from the outcome of your career, your goals, your dreams. Be detached from that energy, even from how you're going to connect with someone. So in other words, that just means don't worry about the who, what, when, where, or how. how just be completely detached. Yes, yeah, so you are concerned about you know how this job is going to work out or your finances, will you be okay, the relationship with other people, uh, you are encouraged to completely detach from the outcome and do not worry about it. Relax and just live and just take every moment as, you know, a gift and just be in the present moment. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what is it that you need to know regarding your current situation? And you have here the crystal card, Jade. Be the bigger person. See, this is a strong confirmation that something's going on within a relationship with you and someone else. And there may have been like some disruptive energy, edgy energy, where, you know, you just can't get along with this person. So Spirit is encouraging you to know that, you know, love is definitely the the answer here. But be the bigger person. Don't be the one that, you know, is wanting to find out why or, uh, you know, fighting or anything like that. If you have to communicate with this person, communicate with kindness and love. And sometimes you have to communicate over text because you can think about what you're going to say before you type it or not. So yes, be the bigger person in this situation. And also maybe you have to completely let go of this energy for the time being and then come back when your heart feels, you know, a little more lighter regarding the situation. Let's get more insight. You have here passion, and this is a light up your life by honoring your deepest desire. So this is a question here for you. What is it that you really want to do? That's the question for you. You're encouraged to know this answer. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? What would you do if you knew that you would, you know, what would make you smile? Like, what thoughts do you have in your head right now? If you knew that you could not fail, people wouldn't judge you, and everything would go so perfect, what would you do? So do that. Do that, and then you are living from your heart's desires because that's what you are yearning for right now. And with the Passion card, you're definitely looking at the fire zodiac signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Page of Wands with that wand energy being fire. Again, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So the Page of Wands energy is a clear message for you to align with that greater version of yourself, that inner child here. Be very creative, stay active, start that new project, work on that creative idea. That is the big message here for you, okay? Because that's where you're feeling like that space, that emptiness, and you want to feel fulfilled. So it's all connected to your gifts. It's connected to your talents. It's connected to something you really want. You really want to try. You really want to do. So Spirit is encouraging you to do it. Let's get more insight. And what is happening here with your current situation and you have, look at the devil card coming out twice. 
Ooh, I felt that energy. I just didn't say anything because you never know. But the devil card being here twice, okay? There is someone that I don't think they are around you right now, but they are very envious of you. Very envious. And they may have ghosted you. Not ghosted you, but like they're not speaking to you right now. So don't poke the devil is what the message is here coming through, meaning that... If you have to communicate with this person, be kind, be tactful, or don't communicate at all because this person has something going on. They are very obsessed with your life, what you're doing. They they are jealous of you as well. And they also have like, it's like this, it's just this unhealthy attraction for you, you know, and they feel like you're doing better than them. You, you have something they don't have and things like that. So just be very conscious. You know who this energy is, you know what it's about, but with this card coming out twice and you being number two, this is a clear sign here. It's two, two, two. Those are your angels speaking to you, letting you know that you are guided you are loved and you are protected. And that's why you have the intuition of the super moon. You know what's up with this person. And just know this, it's not just you. They're jealous of a lot of people. This is their character. They have not worked on their shadow work. So just stay away from their energy. Everything is working out just fine for you. Things are working out in your favor. And know that good always prevails. Know that source is the ultimate power. Love is the only power. Think love. Think divine love. Anytime you think about this person, send them love, um, a white sparkly light, and forgiveness. And you are always vibrating on a high frequency and nothing can um, attract to you. Nothing negative will ever attract to you for there is no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. That is the message that I am getting here. But be very conscious because this person may be someone that you had let go and you decided, hey, I'll talk to them later. Should I call them? Just leave them be. Let them be. Let it naturally dissolve and naturally work out. Don't force anything. And so beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. Your current situation and what you need to know. I will share with you everything that the energy gives to me and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the North Node. And with the North Node, this is a direction within an astrological birth chart. This is about your destiny, your purpose, and it's about activating your current gifts, the things that you're doing now. I can definitely see there's a high vibrational energy around you, around your purpose, and around like your career, and also relationships, that it is definitely your purpose to connect with certain people. You were wondering, why did you meet this person? Why is it turning out like this? Why have you faced different challenges? It's a part of your evolution and your growth. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is happening here? As it does relate your current situation, and you have here the Knight of Wands. This is fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the top placements of your birth chart or the birth chart of someone that is significant here. The Knight of Wands energy is a clear message here that there's a free-spirited person, very creative person coming into your life. I feel like this is a romantic connection. I feel like this is someone that you're going to be like sexually attracted to, they're 
they feel the same about you. But nevertheless, you guys are going to have a lot in common when it comes to your creative abilities, your gifts, and your talents. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And it, again, it is a part of your destiny and a part of your purpose. And you have here Mercury with Mercury coming through the planet of communication with Mercury. I'm picking up Gemini, air energy. I can definitely see here that this has to do with you writing a speech or writing like something of communication, working on something informative or learning something to do with school or even like research, reporting, writing a report because you have been blessed with a high vibrational energy of curiosity. And this is just really a time for you to analyze information and you know, assess the information and make it available to other people. This is about your visions. So you're encouraged here to align with your gifts and your talents and to fully express yourself. And let's get more insight. And what is happening here as it does relate you have the crystal card celestite soothe your soul so it soothe your soul this is about you taking time out to relax you've been under a lot of stress lately a lot of pressure so this is about you really chilling out relaxing your mind because that's where everything is you don't have to feel stress or anxiety if you don't want to you have the power to choose the thoughts and the feelings at every moment of your day so this is just a message from spirit coming through to let you know to access that power of relaxation and how you're able to relax is to really understand and know that the source is omnipresent. The source is always around you. You are never alone. You are guided, loved, and protected, and things are always working out for you in your favor. And let's get more insight. What is happening here with your energy? You have here listen. So with the listening message, people start to heal the moment they feel heard. I love listening coming out, especially with Mercury and communication being there as one of your cards. So yes, you are going to connect with someone that needs you to take just a moment, just a little bit of time out to listen to them and just to hear them out. You don't have to have the solution. You don't have to know who, what, when, where, or how, or how things are going to play out. Just take the time out to listen to this person and that's it. And the answers will automatically come. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is happening here with your current situation? And you have the Knight of Cups. You have two Knight cards. First, the Knight of Wands there with meeting this passionate person. And the Knight of Cups is a strong confirmation that, yes, this person is coming towards you. The Cup energy does represent the emotions and the water zodiac signs. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer are significant here in the energy. So specifically with the Knight of Cups energy, this person coming through is a prince, charming energy. So this is definitely about romance. I feel like this person will offer you a proposal as well. I feel like you'll go on dates. I feel like you're just going to be over the moon with this new person that is coming through because this person is offering you something different, something you've never felt, and something that, quite frankly, you did not expect. And you got Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio is significant here with the Knight of Cups energy. And let's get more insight. What is it here you need to know about your current situation? You have here the Eight of Wands. I love the Eight of Wands laying naturally here under the Knight of Wands. This is perfect. Fire, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, but specifically here with the Eight of Wands energy. This is about things taking place for you really fast. So there's some news. There's something you wanted to happen. There's something you wanted to know. You're going to get that good news rather quicker 
than later, sooner than later, that news will arrive and it will change your life. It's going to make things a lot better and a lot different for you. And so beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.